What's going on guys, j back with you today. Take another episode of Hockey Ultimate Team. This time, we're going to be talking about the one-man show. Now, what I mean by the one-man show is, if you're ever in a NHL 17 game, and it seems like one guy or one line itself is kind of doing everything, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So today, in this episode, this gameplay... This guy has Alexander Ovechkin. Now, everybody knows Alexander Ovechkin is one of the best players probably to ever play in the NHL. Now, I'm not a fan of him. I don't really follow him too well, but I know he's a really good player. However, this game, he was unstoppable. He ends up getting four goals all by himself. Now, I don't have a problem with, you know, one guy doing everything. That doesn't really bother me. But what kind of bothers me is the way it happens. And not only does, you know, he go down and try to get a good offensive rush going, you know, cycle the puck around, you know, get a good shot, maybe get the rebound, you know, pass around some more. No. This guy instantly scores with Alexander Ovechkin. Now, I think it's on the rush after this one. I might be false on that one. But Alexander Ovechkin can just go down, shoot it, and score. Nothing else to it. Now, a cool stat I found about Alexander Ovechkin was he only scored one goal from, I guess, the right side of the ice, if that makes sense. So, the puck where it is right now in the video, and it's going to change, but the left side of the ice, he scored all of his goals from that side, right? On the right-hand side, he's only scored, like, one goal. That I might have changed because that stat was from a little while ago, but, you know... That's crazy. But when someone's doing everything, it just seems like nothing can touch him or nothing can affect him. And that's kind of how it feels in NHL 17. Now, yes, they're good players. Yes, they have good overalls. Yes, they have crazy stats. But also be reminded, there's all these hut heroes and legends and, you know, all those crazy cards that are almost just as good as those crazy stats from an Alexander Ovechkin. Now, yes, Ovechkin is a good player, but when you can't hit him, stick checks, or I should stick checks, uh, poke checks and stick lifts don't really affect him at all, and you can't hit him, how are you supposed to play defense on him? Now, throughout the game, a lot of it's not shown, but when Alexander Ovechkin's on the ice, like right now, I'll win the faceoff, throw it up, and it'll be no big deal. I'll outscape P.K. Subban with uh, Nathan McKinnon and put in a goal. And it's 3 nothing now. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. This game's going to actually get really close. Now, not only does it get really close, but as soon as I think it's the second period starts, if not, it's right now. Okay, it does, I think it is when the second period starts. But Alex Ove I can't even say his name properly anymore. Alexander Ovechkin just literally turns on his game. Now, I don't know what it is, but once a player gets going, it's hard to stop him in NHL 17. Now, you just saw him basically do the same shot with Ovi twice. And he hit the net, I think, one time out of both of those. And they were both upper 90, you know, short side, trying to snipe it. Look at this. This is him deking through the zone, right? No big deal. I finally am able to get the puck when it's like four on one, right? So, does it really take four guys to get the puck away from Ovi? I don't think it does. Now, when players are just constantly dominating the game and nothing can really stop them, is that an EA thing? Like, is that like a code in the game? Or is that just like a... He's only good with that player or like what is it because no one's just that good with one player, right? There's go-to guys that I like to use But not all the time, right? I have Steve. Is it Steve Sullivan? I'm not even sure the Nashville hut hero card and he's kind of my go-to guy in my first line, right? I have him Mike Richards, which is the I think it's the Christmas card and then I I keep switching it around because I'm trying to find someone that I really like playing on that line so I think right now it's Connor McDavid because I think I swapped around some lines. But with Sullivan, I know I can pretty much outskate anyone. Now, let's look at this goal real quick before I keep talking about Sullivan. 
he ends up swatting it through my goalies. I think it's blocker, which is kind of annoying. But he like pretend like the catcher's glove in baseball is like catching the ball and the bat goes right through that guy's glove and hits it for a home run. That's basically what just happened. Now here's the here's where Ovi all starts. So just keep a watch on it. It's five to two now, but just keep watching. So back to Sullivan. He's kind of my go-to guy when I need to just outrush somebody or this guy's, you know, leaving the sideboards open. I know I can get through there. That's what I give it to Sullivan. I constantly spam the sprint button and I'm just off to the races. And if he's not stopping it, I'm not going to stop doing it. So I kind of try to take the first period, which is why I'm so bad at them. I'm usually really bad. I take the first period, and I'm trying to figure out what the guy does, right? If he likes to deke, if he likes to just try to snipe it, if he goes to a certain area and tries to do the same play over and over and over again, you know, whatever it is, I try to figure that one out. Now, if I was saying play my brother, for example, from, you know, a previous title in maybe NHL 16 or NHL 15, he liked, all he liked to do was just cross-crease one-timers. So, say if I put on the collapsing, protect net, and, you know, defend lead, my guys wouldn't move from a little tiny circle right in front of the net. So it would be easy to defend. So I knew that because I obviously know him. But if I'm playing some random person in the net, look at this guy right now. He's down by two goals and he's trying to play a trap. Which doesn't make sense. But then he gives up a, you know, a good opportunity that ends up getting poked away. But when... I just don't understand it. Why does like one guy all of a sudden turn from just say like an 85 overall... To like 105 and you can't touch him that's that's what I don't get now when they do that why is it when I I can hit everyone else I can poke check everyone else I can stick lift everyone else but then when that one player is going off and that one player is doing really well and the one player it cannot be stopped all of a sudden they are just gods you can't touch him can't do anything right this guy has the uh, I don't know what you want to consider it, but that like really golden Datsuk, that 99 Datsuk. And I can hit him. I can poke check him. I can get the puck away from him. I can hit him. Like I can do everything to that Datsuk. But why can't I do that to Ovi? Now, in the game, the Datsuk card is a better card. But why can't I do the same things to Datsuk, who is a better card, than to Ovi, which is a worse card in this situation? Now, obviously, they're both great cards, but don't you think there's something a little weird there? Like, it's 6-4. to four. I was dominating this game. It was, what, 4 nothing, and then it was 5-1? to one. Like, I was up by 4 goals pretty much the entire game, and then Obi just turns on his game, and who knows what happens? Like, it just doesn't make sense. But when I was playing this game... I was like, okay, all I gotta do is stop Ovi, and then I'm I'm set. And he leaves him on for pretty much the entire power play. Right? I don't think he goes off once. But the other thing is, when I do actually, you know, have a chance to poke check him or stick lift him or anything, it'll go right back to one of his teammates. And I don't just mean right back to his teammates, but it goes directly to his teammates. Which doesn't make sense. Right? You just saw that. I poked it away from Datsuk. He has, what, one of the best hands ever in hockey? But I can't do that to Ovi. That just doesn't seem, like, I guess, real. Now, if you have the offensive juggernaut thing on, which I personally hate synergies because, you know, they're just stupid. But look at that goal. Look at that one. He just dangles through everyone and doesn't be affected by anything. Now, I actually needed this game to, I think it was rank, was it rank up or to, no, I shouldn't say rank up, but to move up a division or to win a title or something. So I started playing like the biggest loser possible. So I hate to play like this, but when guys just are just really annoying and it's just like, it, you know something stupid's going to happen, then I'm going to play like that guy that I hate playing against because it's going to piss off the guy that I'm playing. So, that's why you see me playing like a complete loser. But, either way, guys, this game was pretty intense. Now, like I said, the one-man army thing, I don't understand it. Now, 
if it's like a coded thing in the game, then that definitely needs to be fixed. But if it's just like a me having a mental thing or, you know, it's just something I'm noticing that just kind of happens, then I don't even know what to say about it. But when some guy is just like, nothing can happen to him, and it's not even just Ovi, right? It's different players. Now, I can't think of, you know, many of them because it happens like so often with just Ovi. But it happens with other players too, where you just can't touch guys. Like before I got Steve Sullivan, it was Steve Sullivan. Like I couldn't touch him. He was so fast and it just didn't make sense. So... I don't know guys on that note i'm gonna wrap it up here we're gonna end up getting the victory here which is kind of awesome but if you guys did enjoy hit that like button comment what you guys thought down in the comment section below and subscribe for more anyway guys i'll see you later